Welcome to the IELTS speaking test. In this first part, I would like to get to know you better, so I'll be asking some questions about yourself first. First of all, let's talk about days off. Uh, what do you usually do when you have days off? I don't have a lot of activity in my days off. Usually, I just spend time for sleeping, uh, watching a movie, or cooking some good meal. Do you usually spend your days off with your parents or with your friends? I live pretty far away with my family, my hometown, so I just spend my day off for myself. Sometimes I go out uh, with friends to uh, chit and chat and uh, update about our life. What would you like to do if you had a day off tomorrow? Actually, this time of life, I'm kind of busy, so I don't have time to relax or enjoy some of my hobby. So if tomorrow is a day off. I'm gonna take that time to sleep till uh, 10 a.m. Uh, cook some good meal and then watching a movie. Now let's talk about teachers. Do you want to be a teacher in the future? I have never told that I'm gonna be a teacher one day because I think that I don't have a lot of typical characteristics that teacher have, such as a patient or devoted. What were your primary school teachers like? Because it's more than 10 years since I left my primary school, so I don't have a strong impression about my teacher. Because I, uh, I study in a small school in my hometown, so all of the teachers in here is are patient and devoted for their purpose. Do you have a favorite teacher? Well, I don't have a strong bias for any specific teacher, but uh, the one that I remember the most is Miss Thu, my English teacher. She uh, told me the first time when I was in 8th grade, and uh, the thing that she made me remember the most is that uh, more than uh, conveying the knowledge. She uh, told me about a lesson of life, the behavior to be a good uh, person. Now let's talk about keys. Do you always bring a lot of keys with you? Well, I don't have a lot of key. The true important key of me is that uh, the line motor key and the house key. And I always bring them with me when I go out. Have you ever lost your keys? I have never actually lost my key because uh, sometimes I uh, forgot where my key are. But uh, finally, I uh, find my key in any way. It can be in my stops, in a place that I put it in but forgot lately. Do you often forget your keys and lock yourself out? Two or three times. I don't remember the exact number when I lock uh, myself out. Because uh, sometimes when I go out and uh, don't have time to prepare, Carefully, I usually don't remember to uh, bring my uh, key out. But luckily, somehow I uh, always put my backup key in the hidden spot uh, near my house for emergency uh, situation. Now let's move on to part two of the test. Your topic for today is describe a car journey that you remember well. You have two minutes to talk, so don't worry if I stop you. You can start now. One car journey that I remember well is when I traveled to uh, Nha Trang with my high school friend. It is just the most memorable experience because it's the first time uh, we traveled together. This journey was planned in the beginner of uh, the last year in high school, we spoke that six of a uh, member in my friend group uh, would go together, but at the end, one of us can go. And we consider a lot about uh, whether we should go or not. But finally, we uh, decided to go together. From my hometown, it took five hours to go to the destination, and during that five hour, we talked about not just only about the interesting topic that we usually talk together, 
but uh, we hold some mini game about uh, to provide the geography uh, knowledge for each other when we go through some uh, milestone and uh, because this is the first time we travel to go uh, together so we're very excited and cannot stop talking and laughing in Nha Trang, our activity was just around going outside to uh, exploring Nha Trang food culture, walking on the beach, or going around the city to take photos, marking our very first trip. And our motto in uh, this trip is penny pinching. So we just eat strict vendor and went to some place that cost a little money. But not for that, uh, our trip uh, was not interesting. It's a wonderful time of Earth uh, before going to university. It was a truly fantastic trip that I will always remember when I, even when I'm uh, older or have ability to experience the more luxurious trip. So you've just talked about car journey that you remember well. So now I'm going to ask you a few more general questions related to this. First of all, what benefits does public transport bring to the world? I think that public transport brings a lot of advantage for our society. Firstly, it can make the environment greener because uh, the, emis- the emissions uh, can reduce by using public transport. And uh, secondly, using public trans- transport is a way to uh, saving money uh, because public transport is, is much more cheaper than uh, all vehicles. What qualities does a driver need to have? Well, I think that a driver must have a lot of characteristics. Firstly, they must be skilled enough to uh, drive because to because uh, they need to handle a, a lot of situation when uh, they are driving. And uh, the second one is that uh, responsibility because they will not uh, always be uh, driving alone. So. They need responsible for the people they carry in the car. Do you think the government should make it a rule for people to use public transport? I think uh, it is hard to uh, make it a rule for people using public transport because there are some situations that public transport is not work, especially in the emergency situation. They need a personal vehicle to uh, solve their problem. And uh, the second one is that in some, uh, in some places, such as in hometown, the facility of public transport is not good. So it's hard to uh, afford them using public transport. Do you see driverless cars as the future of cars? Well, I think it's going to be the future of of a car. I think that uh, in the future, any car would have the driverless function. I, must, I know that the driverless car functions is much more safer than a driver. So if, uh, they, if we use that function, uh, we gonna s- uh, save time to uh, uh, do any task. Thank you. That's the end of the test.